Hey guys, Joel here, and welcome back to another episode. So today, I'm finally going to get around to talking about this game, but I'm not happy about it. That's the reason why I'm talking about it today. I'm not happy with the news, let's just say, you know, regarding this game. And that's Final Fantasy Record Keeper on mobile. You guys know I've spoke so good about this game many times here on the channel, and how I have a lot of fun with it. I've been playing it since it was released back in 2015. I also have some less plays on it as well. I think I did two or three. I forgot all about that. When I was checking through like a lot of my old videos on here, I saw that I, was, I spoke about that game already. I was like, oh, I didn't know I spoke about this game already. It was back in 2020. That's, I think, yeah, 2020 or was it 2019? I think it was 2020. <laughs> yeah, so if you guys want to check that, I'll actually leave the description. I'll leave, I'll leave the links in the description <laughs> below for you guys to um, check it out if you want. But um, I'm not happy because last night when I read the article and also I saw on that Twitter, you know, they're going to be discontinuing the game. So, yeah, so it's going to be... Goodbye for the record keeper, Final Fantasy record keeper in September. I think they said the 29th um, is when they're going to be closing down. So, yeah. So, that's going to be the last day. Last day. And then, it's goodbye. Damn. Final Fantasy record keeper, rest in peace, honestly. I'm not happy about it. Like, come on. Like, there's more things why I don't like screenings. More things that piss us off, you know? Piss me off, mainly. You know? And why can't you keep it active? Like, man, we should all fight back and petition that. They need to keep it open because... I love that game, man, and it sucks. This is why I also don't like a lot of these mobile games that are online only and everything, because after a while, like, at any moment, they can just pull the plug on it, and that's it. So all the time you wasted, all the progress you, 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 you know, you put into, like, leveling a lot of these characters or grinding and all this stuff, or even spending money, <laughs> which a lot of people, have, I've never done, but on that game, but a lot of people that spend money and all that stuff, all that just went on the drain, you know, it was all for a waste, because... Any moment they can just pull the plug and just you know end it, end the game, you know, and that's why I don't like about with these these online, you know, mobile games. I do like the positives with these mobile these online mobile games is where you know they add new events, they constantly add new events, they constantly add new characters. They'll have like events for like you know during the holidays and stuff. They have a Christmas event, a Halloween event, a Easter event, you know, a Thanksgiving event. Or, you know, whatever whatever it is, you know? I like that. That's cool and all, because a lot of these games have it now. Even games like Mario Kart Tour, which a lot of people hate. <laughs> but that's the positive I can give it, is that it, they always add new content. Always add new tracks, new characters in those games, and things like that. I like that. But being online only is what sucks, you know? Because then you got to think about your internet connection. You got to think about how fast, your, you know, your download speeds are to, like, download the extra data or packs or whatever they have in the games before you can actually play the damn game and all that stuff and then you have to deal with that whenever they decide that they want to get rid of it you know just kill the game and that's it and then that was all for waste you know all the progress you put into this game all the time you spent money you spent you know it's just gone so i'm not happy about that and i think that's just wrong they should keep the game open you know or at least at least find some way to have an offline mode where all the content that's already in the game just keep it that way and they won't update anything else that's fine i'll, I'll accept that you know, because at least I can still enjoy the story because I haven't even finished the story. There's so much content in the game I haven't even got around to doing yet. And there's a lot of content in the game that I haven't even finished yet. I gotta continue, you know, I gotta resume. And now that sucks because I wanted to play more of the game and I actually wanted to talk more about the game on this channel. You know, like do like more Let's Plays in the future. You know, with the, the mode that they have was really fun. I'm actually gonna leave some gameplay footage at the end for you guys to check out. Because I actually had some gameplay footage for a while that I haven't even reviewed yet. I was gonna go over that footage and review it and I never got to do it. So I'm actually gonna um I'm actually gonna upload it here. I'm gonna show you guys at the ending and everything, a little bit about the game and all that stuff. Even though like I said I have less plays already on it, so <laughs> it's not something new. I you know, like something new it's to me. You know, or probably for you guys it'll be new, but it's not new for me because I have spoke about it right in the channel. You know, so I'm gonna definitely leave that for you guys to check out at the end. But um it was fun, you know, like I love the mode they had. I think it was called the record mode or something like that. Where you know you go around, I forgot the guy's name. I already forgot his name then. Damn, I forgot the, the, the kid's name and the girl that he's with. I think it's his sister. And they like to have they have to go through different like um like corrupt paintings to like different Final Fantasy universes, worlds, and, and then like correct it. You know, correct the timeline because you know something is disrupting it and everything and messing up the, like the history, you know, the timeline within a lot of those Final Fantasy worlds. And I love that mode because it was so fun. You know, you can go to you go back to Final Fantasy Seven um world, you go to Final Fantasy Eight's world, Final Fantasy Nine's world, Final Fantasy Tactics world, which I actually recently um finished. And it's so fun, like it's so good and there's so much to do because it's like you have to go to each island and it's like a whole bunch of like um missions to do for each world or whatever like that. So I was still, I think I finished the first world already and I was on the second. 
and I, I never got to finish it. And there's like more. So it's like, how could I can't finish it now because they're gonna they're gonna end it. So it's like at least have an offline mode or something where we can still enjoy the content you guys left, you know. And this is disable the 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 what's it the the microtransaction like crap get rid of that because of course you know it's offline now and everything like that and you're not you guys are not gonna update anymore or add new content to it maybe i'll say you guys can still update it if like bug fixes but yeah like this don't feel worry about the events anymore get rid of the microtransactions all that shit get rid of all of that stuff and just leave the stuff that you guys already have in it so you know for us players that you know so like big fans of the series of that game i should say you know, it can enjoy it, you know, so enjoy the story mode and all other stuff that it has to offer because, like I said, there's so much content I have not got around to, to you know, try it out yet, you know, and I'm, I'm not happy with that. But the mode is really fun, you know, going to all these different Final Fantasy worlds and stuff like that to correct the timelines. It was cool. I like that. Uh, damn, man. Like, that would have, I feel like that, that mode, uh, it can, you can make that into like its own game. That would be a good console game right there. You know, where you have these characters, those two, I forgot the name, you know, where they go to, like, the corrupt paintings to, like, different Final Fantasy roles to correct it. I think that was actually a pretty interesting story right there. That, right there, you can make it a game, make it into a game. That mode alone, you know, it can be, you know, can become its own game. That could be a Final Fantasy Record Keeper um, console version. I would love to have seen something like that on the PS4 because I definitely would have purchased that. <laughs> I would have purchased that. So, yeah, um, not happy, man. Not happy with it. It's a fun game, and like I said, that's one of the the few friendly mobile gotcha games out there and everything, you know. And um, you know, it's damn, it sucks because I love the game. It was it was fun, it was fun, man. <laughs> it was uh, damn, <laughs> had a lot of memories of that game, but it sucks to see you go. And you know, this is gonna be the final year for it. Yeah, man, they've been out since 2015, and I remember when I first got that game. Damn, <laughs> I think that at the time, man, what phone I had. I think I still remember, I had one of those old LG phones, like the LG phone, well, that wasn't old at the time. The LG, um, I think it was the LG G3 or something like that, the LG4, that's what it was called, yeah, one of those. That's the first, that's what I had downloaded, I was playing on that. I miss those phones, man, those, those are good times with phones, not now, the phone, the phones suck now. <laughs> I don't like the, the route they're going with phones now. But, um, you know, like, it was so fun playing that back then, and then, damn, <laughs> it's all gonna go away. So, what I'm gonna do is see if I can quickly, like, um... I wouldn't even say beat it because it's like so much to do in that mode, you know, but I'm going to see as much as I can get through and everything and, and just enjoy it while it lasts, you know, because that's going to be the end of it. And then there's going to be no more. But like I said, I wish they can have like offline, offline mode. If anything, screenings, at least do that for me, you know, because at least I'll like you guys a little bit more, <laughs> you know, uh, but um, yeah, so damn, I'm not, I'm not happy. Uh, anything else I want to talk about with that? Uh, no. Yeah, that's pretty much what I wanted to talk, talk quickly on that. I don't think there's anything as much I want to say, but like I said, it is a good game. It's too late for me to recommend you guys to download and check it out because, like, you guys are not going to have much fun with it. You're going to have a couple of months and then that's it. It makes no sense to start at this, you know, this late when, you know, it's pretty much gone. <laughs> They're about to bury the game and everything, so it makes no sense to even start now. But like I said, those modes are really fun. I do have, like I said, less plays I have done when I was in the Final Fantasy um, eight role, I believe, and a nine. I don't think I did when I was in, in, in the seven, the Final Fantasy VII world. But like I said, I did like two or three less plays on that. I'll leave those in the description below. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit of gameplay from the footage I had saved already. You guys can check, see a little bit more of like a little bit more of the game. But but the less play is pretty much that. So but I'm still gonna leave that for you guys to see at the end. You know, it's a little bit of clips and whatever like that. You know, man, you guys can see it for yourself. You know, but like I said, it sucks. You know, because it was a good game. And like I said, it was one of the few mobile games that I still had downloaded, you know, to this day. A lot of mobile games I've played in the past, I played, deleted it because I got bored of it. This is the only game that stuck around on my console all this time, you know? <laughs> I mean, on my on my phone. <laughs> you know, on my phone all this time. And, um, yeah, so I'm not happy with that. Like I said, I'm going to see if I can, like, get some people together on Twitter. Maybe we can kind of, like, petition for them to keep it, but just keep it offline. You know, since they don't want to support it no more, keep it offline, leave all the content as it is, but just get rid of all the other stuff, the microtransaction, all the other shit, because of course, there's no reason for that anymore, you know, since it's going to be offline. <laughs> so um, I think they, that's the least they can do, you know, it's the least the company can do, you know, for us and everything, because um, a lot of people were saying that this, I get, they, they're pushing, I heard that they was pushing for other people to download other mobile game, Brave X, XVS is called. I had the game, I didn't really like it, it was okay, but I was I couldn't get into it. It wasn't fun to me. 
a lot of people have recommended on Twitter that, you know, for us people that love Final Fantasy Record Keeper to try the other mobile game called Final Fantasy Opera Om Omnium. I forgot how you pronounce it. I played a little bit of the game, but oh my god, the game, it moves so slow because you have to download all of the data from the game. And it's a big file. That game takes up so much space on your phone, so I couldn't even bother downloading it because I tried downloading it, but it took so long to download. I'm like, why is this thing taking so long to download? And I was like, you know what? Screw this. I just ended it and then I stopped it and, and uninstalled it. I'm like, I'm not going through that just to play the game more smoothly. Because if you don't do that, the game is going to take forever to load things up. And it's going to be so slow and everything. You have to download all of it, you know, to in order to enjoy the game more smoothly, like as if it's on a console. And no, <laughs> no. That to me, you should, might as well, you should just made out a console game because it, it's not for mobile. Like the way it, it just operates is it, it, terrible. And I wasn't a fan of it. You know, Final Fantasy Record Keeper is, is really good. You just quickly, you can download it. It's a small file. You quickly, like, once you, you boot it up, you get into the game right away. It's fast. You don't have to worry about all these things loading up, loading up, loading up. It's so annoying. Another thing I hate with that game, with the Opera Omni, whatever you call it, is that they only have so many damn pop-ups. So many damn pop-ups with all the news and the new updates they have. Like, okay, I don't care about that. Just get rid of this shit off the screen so I can play the damn game. You know, I hated that. You know, Final Fantasy Record Keeper is not like that. They only put, like, I think, like, one... Or two notices on it, like probably like a maintenance or whatever. I talk about a new event. You close that, that's it. They leave you alone for the rest of the game. You know, not not Opera Omnium. But um, Brave Exvius, I would say for you people who have played Record Keeper, maybe that would be, that. that's probably, a, I can recommend it a little bit. Because it's kind of, kind of interesting and kind of similar to Record Keeper. Almost. Not quite. Record Keeper is his own game. <laughs> so, you know, you're not going to really get much from Brave, Brave XPS or Opera, Opera, whatever the hell this, that shit is called. But <laughs> however you pronounce it, they always have some weird names for their games and all that stuff. But um, I feel like Brave XPS will be a little bit better, you know, a little bit better, a little bit more of a comparison to Final Fantasy Record Keeper than the other one, you know, with Final Fantasy OO. I'm just going to call it that. <laughs> but yeah, however you say the damn name. But, um, okay, they always, Square Enix always comes up with some weird names for their games. Always something, or some long ass name with some other shit. <laughs> Can't read. I'm like, why? Like, what's up with these names? Like, who, who, who makes the names up for these games? But, anyways, um, yeah, so I'm not happy with that. Um, anything else I wanted to mention? Uh, trying to see if there's something else I had on, on my mind I was going to talk about real quick. I'm trying to see what it was. Oh, with Dragon Quest, because speaking of Square Enix, Dragon Quest 11. Finally finished the game a few days ago. Finally finish it. So this is my first, first, very first Dragon Quest game I've ever beaten. I've never beaten any other Dragon Quest games ever. So this is my first and I'm really happy about that and everything. So uh, it was great. I'm going to talk about that game um, soon because I'm getting all the footage ready to like edit and stuff like that. So I can have like a, a really good in-depth review and everything. And so you guys can check it out. I mean, for you guys to see, you know, but that was a good game from beginning to end. It was great. The story was great and everything, but... I'll leave that for another video. So, so I beat the game finally. I'm happy. It was really good. Why can't Square Enix make more games like this? I do not know. <laughs> you know, I do not know. But I'm definitely gonna talk about that in a review. You know, um, maybe next week or something like that. I'll, I'll, I'll see. You know, <laughs> but yeah, I'll see whenever I'm ready. When I'm, you know, not busy doing other stuff and you know all that stuff. <laughs> but yeah, all that stuff. You know, and um, and one other thing I'll talk about is with the PS3. I have read an article. Not really the PS3, but an article with um the PlayStation Plus that those new premium subscriptions or whatever crap they have the new tiers that um they're taking away a lot of they're taking away the PS3 classics from people who have the premium in, in Europe for some reason I don't know why <laughs> but now they're losing that access that's wrong I don't like that PlayStation is doing that but I just wanted the only thing I already wanted to mention with that is that thank God you know I'm a person that loves physical. And this is why I prefer physical, and this is why I recommend you guys do physical. Because when you have these games physical in your collection, they can't mess with it. They can't take it away from you because yours. You own it. You own it, and it's in your possession. It's in your library, your collection. And, you know, it's something you'll keep. It's something that you always have. Or if you want to sell it, you know, give it away, and then that's up to you. You know, but they can't take it away from you. When it comes to digital, you can always lose access to that shit. Anything that's online that they control, you can always lose access to that. So that's why I'm always happy that I love that I do physical only love physical because <laughs> because you can see you see what happens now. So I'm pretty sure a lot of those people, you know, these European um, PlayStation gamers out there is upset. Like, you know, so a lot of people is really mad about that with with the PlayStation 3, like with the tears and how they don't have PlayStation 3 games and stuff on it. I'm like, I don't have to worry about that because I have a PS3. I have plenty of games for it and plenty of more games I'm going to be collecting for it because 
it's cheap right now to collect for the PS3. So I don't see no reason why people are not interested in doing that. But um, whatever, you know, that's what you guys want to do. Then now you have to pay the consequence with stuff like that, <laughs> with with these type of companies that shady companies or whatever like that. I mean, I love PlayStation and everything, but of course they do shit. Of course, I'm gonna talk about it as well, <laughs> you know. So um, and I think that's about it. I don't think I missed anything else. I think I um, spoke everything that I want to talk about. Um, one day I definitely gotta do that the PlayStation Three um collection. I gotta do that video as well. Speaking of that. So yeah, look look out for that. Stay tuned for that soon. <laughs> and uh, that's about it. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about everything. Uh, Record Keeper, like I said, I'll leave the description below for you guys. And a little bit of gameplay footage at the end of this video. And all like, that good stuff for you guys to check out. But damn, I'm so I'm so mad. I'm mad, sad at the same time. Like, I love the game. It was really good. And then it's all going down. But yeah, so <laughs> let me know what you guys think. As always, like, comment, subscribe. All that great stuff. I'll definitely appreciate it. And I'll see you guys next time for another episode. Take care.